South Carolina state agencies need to cut another $102 million from their budgets. That is roughly 2%. The cuts will come from several places, including health care, public safety, and education. News Channel 36 reporter Maria Catula is live now in Rock Hill with how the schools are taking another hit. Well, Bobby, South Carolina schools have to cut another $43 million. That means about $800,000 that has to come out of Rock Hill School's budget by June. So how do you do that in the middle of the school year? Well, that's a loaded question for the superintendent. We already were at about a million and a half dollar deficit. So this is another 800,000 on top of that. Rock Hill Superintendent Dr. Lynn Moody says their budget scalpel has already cut and shaved as carefully as possible. We uh, restricted travel a great deal. We took a percentage of uh, supply money back from each department. We didn't lay off in the course of the year, but we did freeze some positions. But with nowhere else to slice? Most of our budget is in personnel. So you begin those conversations about um, increasing class size, which is the last thing in the world that you want to do, but it may be the only way you can recapture those those kind of dollars. Uh, you begin to have the conversations about furloughs. She explains how Rock Hill schools are already dipping into next year's fund balance to get through this year, which means... Next year will be when the gavel really falls. You're exactly right. And we are the largest employer in York County. Right. So when you start cutting here, it affects everybody in the county. Now, I also asked the superintendent if cutting sports or shorter school weeks were options, and she says everything is on the table. They're even looking at mowing the grass half as often as they do now. Reporting live with our mobile newsroom in Rock Hill, Maria Catula, News Channel 36.